Mark Strassman in. Well, news of the bombing is echoing loudly in Melbourne at one of the nation's hottest abortion battlegrounds. Well, the owner of the Aware Woman Clinic wants taxpayers to provide constant security to protect its patients and workers. Live team coverage continues now with News Channel 2's Dan Billow with our Brevard County Mobile Newsroom. Dan? Wendy, we're live at the Aware Woman Clinic in Melbourne where significant changes in abortion law have been hammered out in conflicts between both sides of the abortion issue. And whether or not that bombing in Atlanta was targeted at an abortion clinic, there, there was no conflict today over whether that bombing should be condemned. I would like to say to the anti-abortion activists in this community, stop it. Stop it right now. If you're the decent law-abiding Christians you claim to be, stop it. A Wear Woman Clinic owner Patricia Baird Wendell today asked Melbourne police to provide extra security for her clinic. Officers did stop by, but for most of the day, two lonely anti-abortion activists were the only ones there. Their side condemned the Atlanta bombing as well. It's a tragedy. It's a setback for the pro-life movement. Anytime we have any violence like this, um, it detracts from the main emphasis of the movement, which is the killing of the unborn children inside clinics like this. Three years ago, after the murder of a clinic doctor in North Florida, federal marshals stood guard outside many clinics, including this one. But when the issue cooled, the marshals were taken away. The issue has heated up again. I demand that Janet Reno give us back our marshals. And because of the approaching anniversary of the Roe versus Wade decision that legalized abortion, Wendell suggests more violence will break out. We suspected that the anti-abortion people were going to start things of this nature. A spokesman for the local anti-abortion movement says nonviolent activity will continue here. Coming up all new at 6, a look at the turbulent history of this clinic and how protesters can now enter the buffer zone established by the Supreme Court. We're live in Melbourne, Dan Billow, News Channel 2. Thanks, Dan. I understand that there's always an element of danger. When are they going to wise up and understand that we're not going to stop? A Aware Woman's owner says all abortion providers are in danger of some sort constantly. People who protest against her clinic on a regular basis say there's nothing to fear from them. If you're somebody that's got any kind of ideas that they might do something violent, well, we take care of it before it happens, if we know about it. One thing people on both sides of the issue in Melbourne agree on, the Atlanta incident makes them reflect on the effect of this sort of violence. I say to mainstream anti-abortion people, that they should do everything in their power, a huge public outcry, to stop the extremists. There's no way that we can be pro-life and go around doing things that might kill people. So uh, we're definitely against that. Well, ironically, that ban is going to be leading a demonstration against that woman in front of her house this weekend. Both hope it will be peaceful. We're live in Melbourne. I'm James Ford, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Bombings have workers at a local clinic nervous. They're asking for police protection. The Aware Woman Clinic has been a favorite site for protests in Central Florida. Live team coverage continues now. News Channel 2's Dan Billow is with our Brevard County Mobile Newsroom. Dan? Wendy, we're live at the Aware Woman Clinic in Melbourne where legal precedents and limits have been set on abortion protesters. But that doesn't stop the protests or the fear on the part of clinic representatives that violence may break out here. Choose life and each life is precious unto the Lord. The fervor has gone out of the protests that have been held at the clinic for years. Hundreds of people have been arrested here for blocking doorways, committing vandalism, or even praying on the sidewalk. The Supreme Court endorsed a buffer zone to keep the protesters at a distance, but today they were well inside the zone. Local courts have ruled that the buffer zone applies only to six people named in the injunction the Supreme Court upheld. We have no longer have the protection of the Madsen injunction that we took all the way to the United States Supreme Court. Clinic owner Patricia Baird Wendell says protection is still needed though and she's demanding that taxpayers provide state and federal agents to guard the clinic. The hardcore cadre, the paid cadre of domestic terrorists that works against us is still here and has been indicating they're going to increase their activities again. They've never stopped completely, you know. But they had seemed to slow down. The vandalism that once prevailed here has given way to a kinder, gentler form of protest. There is help for you available. It just doesn't uh, make sense for a pro-life movement 
to go out and try to kill somebody. The local anti-abortion movement is planning a march on Sunday, which is three days before the Roe Ro versus Wade decision anniversary, uh, and they're planning that march to call upon people to recognize the sanctity of human life. We are live in Melbourne, Dan Billow, News Channel 2. Thanks, Dan. Well, another Central Florida abortion clinic has been a target.